put us here? We don't know. What's out there? The maze. I'm Mike Seymour from FXGuide.com for Wired, looking at the complex creature work in Maze Runner. In the new film, based on the book of the same name, director Wes Ball worked with Method Studios Vancouver to create the maze that Thomas and the other gladers find themselves in, along with the relentless grievers that chase them. The film was shot on location, and much of the exterior running action was done with careful attention given to make sure that the shadows of where the giant maze would be cast correctly over the actors. On set, there was actually only a tiny amount of the real maze built, given that the location was very remote and the team had to carry in most of their extra gear by hand. As complex as the moving parts of the maze were for Method Studios to realize, the maze grievers actually were so complicated they required an entirely new creature pipeline to be developed. Highly detailed bone and mechanical limb logic had to be developed for exactly how these creatures might have evolved. The structure detailed and worked out to allow the weight distribution to move correctly and the range of movement to be believable. This allowed for simulations to be done to work out physical weight distribution and flesh sims. Methods VFX supervisor Sue Rowe recruited James Jacob, fresh from doing the Goblin King in the original Hobbit film at Weta, to Canada to make the Grievers look believable and organic while still being half mechanical. The Grievers can be a little hard to study while they're attacking, but thankfully Method Studios produced for us this exclusive video showing how the creatures are internally formed. James's big thing was he would build the character and the skeleton to be correct. You know, it has to be ergonomically correct, um, based in uh, sort of natural physics. Um, so we built the skeleton, we built the muscles, um, and that's how the character was going to move. Placing the Grievers in a shot required not only tracking and contact lighting, but also complex fire simulations and detailed interaction with the actors. The director is himself actually a highly accomplished VFX artist in his own right having won the role of directing on this film on the basis of the work he did on his own short film, Ruin, which he made by himself. He came from a background where he would know that, you know, to hand roto something would be really tricky. Um, and so he would always be aware of that kind of thing. And sometimes I just laugh and go, don't worry about that over there. There's a whole 3D city behind us <laughs> that's moving. Not to spoil the film or anything, but this is only the first of four books in the series. So hopefully we'll see Beyond the Maze. But for now, don't forget to subscribe for more behind the scenes action. I'm Mike Seymour for Wired.